Greetings, fellow noobs, and welcome to another noob cast. Except this is not a noob cast. This is a pro cast. I just felt like watching a good game and casting a good game. So we've got Aki spawning here in the top left on the Delta Quadrant uh, as the Red Terran, and his opponent is none other than Liquid Tyler. Yes, the one and only Liquid Tyler. Joining us from Team Liquid at the, um, oh, this is one of the games that was just released in the, uh, in the weekly, um, in the weekly replay pack. Always thankful to Team Liquid for giving those out. Always a blast to cast those. And we will see, <laughs> uh-oh, <laughs> Aki apparently, a Korean, um, trying to talk to Liquid Tyler in Korean to no avail. Um, but Aki knows English and Team Liquid. So uh, Tyler, an international name, no doubt. And certainly Aki has got to be quaking in his boots. <laughs> Best player, Jinro. Uh, Tyler says yes, though I'm thinking that Tyler probably thinks that... He might be better. Um, I, not that there's any kind of, would be any kind of rivalry between the two being teammates. Very manner guy he is indeed. Um, let me just plug real quick. Um, I was just spent. I just spent some time on Rakura's stream uh, on TL.net. Uh, if you're not, if you don't get involved in like streams or like check things out on uh, Team Liquid. Um, there's some really cool things happening in the community just as far as good players streaming, bad players streaming, um, tournaments being streamed, and you can find all that on TeamLiquid.net. Um, they usually list whoever's streaming on the right-hand corner. There's actually a little app that's been um, that's been made that you can use as a plug-in on your Chrome as Zealot coming out and CyberCore for Tyler and the Orbital Command out, second gas going down for Aki. And we have the first Marine out, going to pop that probe, but not before he gets a scout, sees how many gases are up for Aki, and uh, then he is going to kiss the day goodbye. Um, Aki's SCV able to get out of Dodge with all of its life intact. But yeah, there's a lot of great streams on tail that night. I'm pretty sure Tyler streams every once in a while, and Control just started, stream just started streaming. Um, just some cool streams. Uh, Rakura is somebody who is, uh, like me, does not... Um, I don't know if he streams pro games uh, or if he casts pro games on his channel or not, but I know he streams. Um, he has been currently streaming um, the qualifiers, the qualifying tournaments for Justin TV's Open Invitational. Um, and if you win any of the qualifiers, then you can have a spot in the Invitational that's coming up. Um, I will put a link to, um, well, I'll put a link to Record Stream in the description. I'll also put a link to um, to that qualifier because anybody anybody can uh, can try to qualify. So if you think you got what it takes, you think you got some chops, or even if you don't and you just want to give it a try, um, no reason not to. Uh, it's an it's a qualifier for. It's an open qualifier, so anybody can play. But let's check it out, see what's going on. We do have a 1-1-1 one, one, one for Aki, uh, popping Marines out, and we do have a two-gate Robo for Tyler. I've seen him do this so many times, and he really has mastered this build. Um, and getting the third gate down, and uh, either going to stick with three. Uh, potentially, I have seen him get a fourth Sometimes, um, after he expands, he'll go into Stargate play, but we shall see as things develop. Right now, just uh, finishing up these builds. Bunker full of Marines on defense, and a couple of sentries out for Tyler, and that probe going down to drop a gateway, I'm guessing a 400, undoubtedly. And we will see. There it goes. No expansion yet for Aki. No, um, no more scouting either. 
as he continues to pump out. Uh, oh, he's going to get a Banshee. Do we have a uh, Cloak being tech? None at all, but he is likely going to we're likely going to see some Banshee harassment coming from Aki and a Raven. Uh, going to be following up, perhaps to protect from potential uh, DT rush, because uh, Aki has not scouted since that first SCV, so he has no idea what's going on. Here comes the scout. He's going to see the expansion and run away. So... Um, with the expansion, Aki knows Tyler is not, prob probably not, I should say, probably not uh, doing a, a DT rush. Banshee is going to come down here from the left side, coming down around the back to the main, going to see the probes, going to potentially get a scout on, but Tyler, had having had the observer out already, uh, was waiting for the, was waiting for the Banshee to come and was able to quickly drive it off without incident. Uh, no no losses. Oh, he is now pounding away on this pylon, so if my computer does not lag into uh, the can, you might actually see what happens. I have no idea why this is doing this, but okay, now we're back. Uh, and drop up. Uh, Drone transfer, probe transfer. Need the probe. This is the Prototh Wraith, not a third Wraith. Um, I know some people get really uh, bent out of shape when you uh, misname things and don't correct yourself, so I definitely like to correct the mistakes I know that I make. I'm sure I make at least 150 per cast that I do not catch. More barracks going down for Aki. Um, making sure he does not get supply block. A burgeoning force here for Tyler. Immortals included. More zealots being warped in. Um, I think we we do have a, a tank heavy tanks and marines with a with a raven um, and more barracks coming down for more uh, for more marines. I think if Tyler pushes right here with unless there is siege tech available, um, where did those other tanks go? I thought he had four, and now there's only two. Where did they go? Oh, they got dropped in the high ground. There they are. Luckily, I'm paying attention. At least I noticed that there was two tanks missing. And now we have the tanks and the Banshee harass. Immortals, do they have vision? How do they? Have? Okay, the Observer is giving them vision, and they quickly take one tank out, and the other one is picked up and taken away. Good job by Tyler to bring the Observer in so we could see... I visioned on the high ground to take out those tanks. Otherwise, it could have been a long day uh, for Liquid Tyler. A Twilight Council having been worked in. Going to see some uh, Zealot legs get researched. Very good, When particularly when you know tanks are in play. Um, Tyler doesn't know that it's mostly Marines over here, but Marine... Uh, Zealot Charge is very good against Marine Tank, um, or Tank Marine, however you like to preface it. But here comes that Banshee, going to try and do a little bit of more, a little bit more harassment. No, uh, he does, he does have Cloak, does he not? No, still no Cloak. Not getting um, researched at all. Probably not going to be seeing any more Banshees come out, that's probably why. We do have Stim. Uh, just about halfway done. Going to be a big help to these Marines and the Warp Prism out here for Liquid Tyler, perhaps in lieu of a pylon, going to be able to take his pylon with him wherever his army happens to be and have the opportunity to warp in units uh, no matter what. Now, using the Banshee as a scout, which um, I, I like, he just scouted the, uh, the gold base and there was nothing at the time, but now Tyler obviously moving in to take down those rocks, and now we see uh, Aki moving out to get his natural expansion. Oops. Raven saw the observer, took it out, which alerted uh, Tyler to the fact that Aki was moving out, so we may see some action here, or we may see a little bit more turtling, which looks like it uh, might be the case. Liquid, Liquid Tyler getting a very nice spread on his units. Uh, does not want to fall prey to splash damage or um, any such thing. 
all those marines quickly uh, taking down the shields of that immortal. Um, the zealots with charge up and ready to go. The stalkers taking down that point defense drone. The mortals focusing down these tanks, just doing uh, incredible damage and taking them down with ease. That was not close at all. Um, Tyler coming out very much on top now. Four immortals in the field. Zealots ready to go. And more stalkers as well against what amounts right now to a couple, a few marines and um, and a tank. One tank. Um, and yeah, this is going to be it, I think. Uh, if, I don't think there's any way that Aki can hold this. Um, and now taking these two immortals into the base, going to be able to uh, focus down that tank. And this is probably going to be GG. I don't think Aki's going to have. Um, there really isn't anything to uh, to keep him in this game. But he is going to use his SCVs to. Uh, oh, and they get picked up by. The Warp Prism, great play by Tyler, going to take out that command center. It's going to go down very quickly. And this um, started off like it might be a decent match, but it has become a very one-sided affair uh, in Tyler's favor. And I don't see... Um, I do not see Aki coming back from this. Uh, he's getting out several Marines, but with the Stalkers there, now High Templar on the scene. Uh, it is not going to be pretty. Kydarian amulet. amulet is complete, so these guys should have enough for Storm right away. Stim Marines uh, looking to focus down those Immortals. Do not get either kill, get Storm before they can. And now uh, there is the GG by Aki, and that is your game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, don't be uh, afraid to go and check out Team Liquid. Check out some streams. Uh, don't forget, we are now on Facebook. Search for Noobcast and also Twitter for your tweeting pleasure. Uh, I'd love to have you join us and get in on some community action. Uh, again, I'll post the links to the Justin TV uh, Invitational qualifiers. I think it's coming up maybe even this week. And we will uh, get you rolling there. Keep climbing that ladder, guys. Talk to you soon.